What is up everybody, welcome back to the channel. I've been a bit busy lately these past few days and I know I'm due to supply some content for you guys. Today is a good day for fans of this game I'll be talking about. My name is Nandibit and today's episode I'll be giving you new information on an upcoming free update on Insurgency Sandstorm, which releases on June 16. I have not played this game in a long time due to the lack of content that was released, but let's see what's new and popping for the summer. Before we begin, I want to let you all know that I do stream on Twitch as of today, every Monday and Friday. You can stop by to ask me questions on the video, hang out on chat, and play some games. Link will be in the description. If at the end you enjoyed the video, courtesy reminders to hit that thumbs up button if you found the video to be informative and subscribe. Plus, hit that bell so you're notified when the next video is posted. Never heard of Insurgency Sandstorm, it is a team-based tactical first-person shooter based on lethal close quarters combat and objective-oriented multiplayer gameplay for PC and soon consoles. To talk about why you are here, if we head to the Insurgency Sandstorm website, we can see New World Interactive, the developers of the game, have showcased a sneak peek before the release of what's to come and will slowly roll out more details on Operation Nightfall before release. First thing we look at is a remastered map that was first released on Insurgency Source back in 2014, which I got to say is looking amazing. You're also able to use this 360 degree view of the map. Next, upcoming content is the new weapons that will be added to both factions. For the security team, two guns are to be added, specifically for the Breacher class. The Grease Gun is the first weapon introduced, which I find to be an interesting choice to be adding a World War II weapon. Correct me if I'm wrong, history nerds. The second weapon to be inserted for the Breacher class is the Honey Badger, which I'm sure all the COD fans will be raving about. But this is not COD. As for Insurgents, there are three new weapons, two for the Breacher and a secondary for all the Insurgent classes. The weapon for the Breachers are the Sterling and the AS Val. The Sterling is a British submachine gun that was designed and implemented after World War II. The AS Val is a Russian gun with the built-in silencer that was used around the 80s until now. I'm no history gun buff, so if you want to know the specifics, simply Google. The third weapon, which is the secondary weapon, is the well rod and can be used by all the insurgent classes. This is another British World War II pistol, which has an implemented suppressor for all you sneaky players. As you scroll down, most of the future content is locked into New World releases, some new information. If we hop over to Seam, we can see the new night equipment being implemented, such as NVGs known as night vision goggles upgrades and weapon laser and flashlight attachments. We also be receiving some sick new scopes that magnify four times and seven times. As you can see, it is 2 a.m. at the time of recording and NWI states that they will be releasing more information and patch notes when the community test environment goes live and runs from today, May 28th to June 1st. What more are you predicting MDI will be dropping with this Operation Nightfall expansion? Do you think this will be the start of a new leaf where players will want to flock to the game? Or will it maintain its small community of players who enjoy this hardcore, realism, tactical niche? Leave a comment down below. I would like to know your opinion and how you feel about the update. If you want to see more coverage on Insurgency Samsung such as news and gameplay, just let me know. If you want to see me play this live, you can catch me on Twitch, link in the descriptions. Until next time, Naughty out.